Red Sox news overnight and not good news. Xander Bogarts is gone. Curtis, during the break, you were able to uh, get to the offer that the what I, I, I guess the what is believed to be the offer that the Red Sox made, the final offer that they made to Xander Bogarts. Yes, and we'll have it on the Twitch screen shortly. DKHK in the Twitch chat sent this link to Alex Spear. Red Sox offer to Bogarts was for six years and $160 million. So at no point did anybody in any meaningful way believe that they were ever going to bring him back, which I ask the question, what is the upside long term? By spinning something that that massively to your fan base. You know, there's a saying in uh, recovery, Greg, that once I stopped drinking, I didn't have to have a memory because I stopped lying. <laughs> you only need a memory when you lie because mm-hmm. if you're just telling the truth, there's nothing to remember. <laughs> and I just don't understand what the benefit is to this organization that has that can stand on their laurels. Wiggy is right in this regard. This ownership group has been spectacular. They have won four World Series championships. They have refurbished Fenway to to a point where it's one of the biggest tourist destinations in the country. The team has been overwhelmingly successful. They have invested back in the product. All are true. So why do they have to do this stuff? Here is Tim from Hanover. What's up, Tim? Hey, thanks, Greg. I appreciate you taking my call. Same with Shime and all you guys. Hey, I just want to say I called in months and months ago when this first story broke about Xander, that they might, you know, that about their issues with his contract. I said Henry should have egg on his face in the ownership group if they don't do the deal. Well, obviously, I knew it wasn't going to happen. And and here's the deal: they brought Bloom in. There's no doubt in my mind. They brought Bloom in to recoup some of that money that they've lost, like Sandoval and then, and then others along the way within the last couple of years, to get that money back. And I know he's what they did is they brought Bloom in to basically do some small deals, but no ginormous deals. <laughs> and I don't think they're going to do – I don't think they're going to do Xander. But they – I mean, not Xander. Um, uh, what's his name? Correa? The, the De- lefty. Oh. The lefty. The lefty, the, the big hitter. Yeah, De- yeah, Devers, I'm yeah. sorry. But here's the deal. They, they put Xander's back on false pre, uh, false pretenses. They put him back against the wall, right? They did the same thing with Brady, unfortunately, and, and they put Brady on that wall, and Brady made that same move, went out there, and they seen what he could really get, and it took him to a Super Bowl. So these are things you can't do. You can't you can't false pretense to your fans or to or to other people out there, especially your players. So I, I appreciate the time, gentlemen. My guess is that if you gave him a legit deal before he went to the free agent route mm-hmm. in the spring, that you could have got him for you know if you want to limit the time, you don't have to do eleven years. I bet you could have got Xander Bogarts for eight years and a couple hundred million dollars. I, I I would I would I because the guy I think he wanted to be here at that point. Don't but you? But what's think a couple yeah, hundred I mean, million, I mean, Greg? Like that's why I think you know I don't know where Courtney is, but I feel like when a guy wants a specific, let's say he wanted two hundred and fifty million, but the Red Sox are saying the max we're going to go is a hundred and eighty million for this guy. What, what? Why would they make a mistake? And throw money at him when they knew it wasn't going to be good money. I don't know though. Now that I look at that at that annual, he'd be making more staying with the Red Sox every year than he would it, it, yeah, with the like, Padres. So for me, yes, eleven years is so much longer. So right. he's going to make more money in the long run. But at the right. same time, I just at the age of thirty six, do you think he's going to get a hundred and twenty million dollar deal? No, but he'll no. probably get about. So I, then that's the, what we're talking. I think about. he'll yeah. probably get about eighty or ninety million. But he could get injured in three years, and he gets none of right. that. Right. So exactly. So why would he want to? If he knows that the Red Sox are not willing to go to the number that he wants, why would he stay with the Red Sox, because even though I'm they say- want him? That's what I'm saying, though. I'm saying I think he would have taken this deal mm-hmm. if he liked the team that he was playing for. He didn't at the at the beginning of last season. Mm-hmm. Once it was reported that he felt what was the word he used that 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 the the, the deal that they gave him was laughable, and uh-huh. he felt basically like a slap in the face. Yeah. 
Once that happened, mm-hmm. it was no more. You know who felt that way, too, about their organization? Aaron with, Judge. Aaron Judge. And guess what? He resigned with them when they gave him the money that he wants. So that whole buying into players, oh, they're pissed, this, that. That means nothing until you put the money on the table. Hey, we can work this out. You know what I mean? I was pissed at you in the beginning, but the money's making. So, Wiggy, why, okay, the, why did they do this whole scene? Why did we get this because whole that's year? Because that's what all front office and owners do. They did it with Brady. They did it uh, with guys like. Like Paul Pierce, they did it with guys like Chara. That's what they do. They say, hey, listen, we want... I don't want- remember the Bruins doing that with Chara. We want this guy to retire here. We would love him to be here. We want him. He said, I can't envision yes. him being on another team. Well, you knew he wasn't going to be on this team. Well, you didn't know that for sure. What about the What about the reporting that bubbled to the surface on Monday or over the weekend or whatever it was? where Xander Bogarts was giving the Red Sox last and final rights to match the offer. Right. Do you, do you believe that? Report? I believe that. You believe that? Yeah. Okay. So the Red Sox, right, so then you have to believe that sometime last night, they went to the Red Sox and said, here's the deal, right. and the Red Sox rejected it, yeah. right? The same way the same way Bill does to guys like Julian Edelman and Dante Hightower and says, hey, listen, you think you can make more money? Go out and get it. And if you can, come back to us and we'll see if we want to match that deal. I mean, that's what that's what they do as front office people. That's what they do as GMs. You, I, I would have so much more respect for the decision-making process if they said that they, they love Xander Bogarts. He's the cornerstone of this team. It's going to be tough to replace him. But we do not view this as a contract that will be beneficial to the long-term hopes of this organization. They're not going to do that, though. Why? That's because honest. Because it's not our work. And play, the same way players do it. Players go, hey, listen, I want to retire here. I want my jersey in the rafters. I want this. <laughs> no, that I was want, just Kyrie. I want, I want this. I want to be, you know, remembered here forever, you know, whether it's Jason Tatum and that kind of thing. All right. Xander Bogarts is gone. Am I spo- what am I supposed to do when it comes to Bobble Wall of Fame in the studio? Do I remove Devers or, or do I leave him up there? Oh, you got to leave him. I would yeah. offer Devers a ham sandwich and see if he stays. I'm going to move him to the side over by the Hillman Morning Show. No, Bobble? I think he no. should be top of mind, so we need no. to keep him okay. right in the middle. Put some cement right. on this so he can never leave. <laughs> All right. on- give him a 30-year contract. On- oh, no, no, those aren't good. John Henry might be out of cash. 